الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أهبت في الله قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا يا أيها الناس اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون الذي جعل لكم الأرض فراشا والسماء بناء وأنزل من السماء ماء فأخرج به من ثمرات رزق لكم فلا تجعلوا لله اندادا وأنتم تعلمون <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem Ya yu al-Adheena Ya yu al-Nas He addresses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses He says, O you mankind Worship your Lord Who created you and created those who came before you Ya yu al-Nas A'budu rabbukum al-Ladhi khalaqakum Wal-Ladhina man qablakum In order that you have God consciousness, you have that taqwa that all of us are trying to attain. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyu al-nas, a'budu rabbukum al-ladhi khalaqakum wal-ladhina man qablakum la'alakum tattakun al-ladhi ja'ala lakum al-ard al-firashan. He's the one who made for you the earth a firash, a like a carpet or a place in which we we stand upon alladhi ja'ala lakum al-ard firashan was sama and the skies was sama bina'an and the sama the skies you know is a place that's like like buildings like structures was sama'i bina'an wa anzala min as-sama'i ma and from the sky, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down ma, meaning water, rain, sustenance. And what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? ma'in min rizqan lakum. And that he sends this water down, this rain down. As a provision for you. فَأَخْرَجِ بِهِ مِنْ ثَمَرَاتِ رِزْقًا لُكُمْ فَلَا تَجْعَلُ لِلَّهِ إِنْدَادًا So therefore do not associate a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and dadin وَنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ And you know. Because you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala built all of this. You know Allah Azza wa Jal is the creator of the heavens and earth. You know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the sustainer and the creator. All of this is Dalila Rububiyatillah. It's all evident for the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he is the one who created this. And look at this, even in this ayah, Ahabatillah, we see, even in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us the relationship between Rububiya wa Uluhiya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us the relationship between Uluhiyah wa Rububiyah. How? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayu nas Ya ayu nas a'budu rabbukum. First, first Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually begins with Uluhiyah. That he alone, all the worship should be directed to him. And he's addressing all of mankind. The mushriks, the various types of kuffar, the uh, muslimin, all of us. No one is, uh, sh- should, should be left out. And no one is left out from that khutab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing all of mankind. Ya ayu nas Ya ayu nas a'budu rabbukum. O you mankind, worship your Lord. This shows the ubudiyatillah. And that, that we, sh- we are servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have servitude to Allah, whether we do it knowingly or not. Meaning, all of us, 
are servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of us choose to worship him and give him his, his haq. And some of us don't realize that we are servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we should be worshiping him and him alone. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses all of us. Ya nas rabbukum He's the one who created you, the one who created you. So that shows Allah is al-Khalik. He is the creator of the heavens and earth and the sustainer. And that is his lordship. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala began again with uluhiya and then with rububiya. Uh, uh, he began with uluhiya and then rububiya. Naam. Khalaqa lakum. Ya ayyuhan nas a'budu rabbukum alladhi khalaqakum. Walladhina min qablakum. So Allah created us and he created those who came before us. Walladhina min qablakum la'allakum tattaqun. In order that you would fear him. الذي جعل لكم الأرض فراشا. He made this earth as a, a, you know, it's a resting place, a firash. We rest upon our our firash. We we stand upon it. We rest upon it. We benefit from it. We, you know, that's how we, uh, you know, we lay the firash on the earth. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says He has made the earth as a firash. الذي خلقكم. He's created you. And he's created the uh, the ard as a firash. Wasamai binain, and the skies uh, as you know structures. Wanzala mina sama, and he sends from the skies rain. Ma in, he sends from the skies this rain. And this rain gives us provisions. And as you can see, it's wet here. You can see the provisions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has descended down. All of this lush green. Look at this lush green. This is incredible. It's it's so beautiful. The smell, the air that I'm breathing right now. What a ni'mah min ni'amillah. I'm so thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to even have any to breathe such beautiful, fresh air. And the green. Here we have green moss. We have fungi. We have various types of plants. All of this is flourishing. Why? Because Allah Azza sent down that rain. He sent from the skies the ma, the water. And he sent, and, and from it, he you know, gave us provisions that the, that the, these plants, they came up for provisions. How are they provisions? Well, one, they're provisions for all the animals here. The birds. I just saw a, a black slug. Uh, all these animals, all these insects, all this, this life, this whole, all this atmosphere is a whole uh, ecosphere full of life. It's a risk for us because we depend upon these animals. We depend, all of this is the cycle of life. We depend on these trees for air and the water. And, and, and they, you know, it's a cycle. You know, we have rainforest here. So that means that the water comes from these plants and it creates a cycle. It goes up back into the atmosphere and you know, and then it helps it rain again. It helps to feed and seed the clouds again. And so it's a cycle. That's what a rainforest, a little bit, and those who are scientists will, can describe it better for you. But that's a bit about a rainforest. So it's a cycle. And it's a cycle of rizq, provisions. And then what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? So he's saying all of this to say what? And this goes back to all the times we've talked about ayat, Konia, those signs in the creation, which sh which are delil that Allah exists and that we should worship Him, and this ayat is is exactly illustrating that those points. وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءٍ فَأَخْرَجَ بِهِ مِنْ ثَمَرَاتِ رِزْقٍ لَكُمْ فَلَا تَجْعَلُ لِلَّهِ فَلَا تَجْعَلُ لِلَّهِ and dead and went from تَعْلَمُونَ do not associate partners with Allah and you know, subhanallah and you know. All of this, especially those who know 
who understand these things, who come out. There's so many people I, I've seen so far, you know, bi biking, and they're enjoying the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. Are they attributing it to Allah Azza wa Jal? Are they worshiping Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or are they associating partners with Him? Or do they not even believe in Allah at all? Aslan. Subhanallah. But the Muslim reflects on these ayat, these signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَأَخْرَجَ بِهِ مِنْ ثَمَرَاتِ رِزْقٍ لَكُمْ And he sins from the sky, رِزْقٍ لَكُمْ It's a provision for you. فَلَا تَجْعَلُ لِلَّهِ And dead and went to the moon. Don't associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, look at this. Under. This is exactly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran. He sent the rains down. Look at the rain, how they, it's coming here. And it's providing. It's coming down. It's going to go into the rivers. It goes into the groundwater that we, we drink. Uh, we feed our plants. It feeds the forest. It feeds the plants. All the life that partakes in this water. Have a risk in lukum. This is the risk for you. We ask Allah Azza wa Jalla. The Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, protect us from kufr, shirk, and nifaq. O oh Allah, protect us from kufr, shirk, and nifaq. O oh Allah, protect us from kufr, shirk, and nifaq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.